Hey everyone. Now sitting at the computer here last night, obviously it was dark and I had the lights on, and then it went a bit dark. And I thought, oh shit, there's a power outage, and the, but the computer was still on. So, you know, I thought, oh, hang on a minute, the bulb was just gone. So this smart light that was above me, this LifeX, LifeX thing, it went dark and it started to smell bad. So I turned it off, pulled this out because I didn't want the house burning down. And uh, so now what I'm going to do today is pull this apart and just see if I can see what went on inside. Right, to get into it, I'm just going to, as you can see, tear it apart. Oh. Hopefully that'll just let this thing pop up like that. All right, there's some LEDs, but of course I need to get further into it. Oh, it just kind of comes out. I'll attack this and get back to you. Oh, okay, that is just sitting there. And it has, it has a little something around it. What do you reckon that might be? The antenna? I assume so. Okay, I've just taken a photo so you can see it clearer. What I can see straight away there is the RGB positive and negative for the light. So this would be the actual light that's controlled obviously by the thing behind it, which is what I've got to try and get to. What I'm going to do is look for the part that really smells burnt out or looks burnt out, which so far doesn't seem to be this. So I could probably, if I really wanted, use this, this lighting part, but I don't really have a need. That'd be the diffuser, I suppose. So it looks like it's held in by that connector there to get to these lights. So I'm just going to try and get that thing out. If I can grab it on the sides. Because it's kind of, it's floppy in there. I can't see the shit. I'll get it. Ah, oh, fuck, I'll just rip the cut out. I need to get under it. Come on, you fucking thing. Bloody hell. There we go. All right, so that, oh, I was glued a bit as well. Oh, not glued, sorry, heat, that looks like heat sink compound. Anyway, so there's the connector that held the lights in. All right, I'm just gonna chip away at this to get, get to that metal part. All right, I'm just cutting into all this plastic shit here to get to it. It really does stink. Fuck, that just flicked to the other side of the garage. All right, I've no idea what this is made of, but anyway. See if I can rip it out yet. Oh, here we go. Okay, so that bit's metallic, that bit's not, that bit is. There's probably another locking bit over here. I don't know, fucking rip the cat, there we go. All right. All right, that bit's metallic. That bit is too. I don't know, whatever the fuck that is. All right, the first thing I can see is a burn mark there. It's kind of charcoal. I'm still gonna keep going though, because that might not be. The power supply for it will be in there. Oh, where are we? It'll be in there, so I've gotta go further. Just keep ripping it apart. Right, this is kind of molded, gluey kind of thing in here, so I'm really going to have to slice down here or come at it from this end. So, fuck it, let's go. If I rip that off, it's going to break everything. Try and get these terminal posts out. There's one. You know, fuck this, I'm just gonna rip the cunning out. There it is. All right. Piss off. There's a whole lot of this gluey, not glue, it's like, not rubber, but you know, soft, malleable stuff. Which means the power supply is kind of enclosed in that. I wonder if that's to do with safety kind of thing. You know, it snubs itself out if there's something wrong with the power supply. That's just a wild guess though, don't quote me on that. 
No, that's that is the antenna, obviously. There it is there. What's that M MCX connector, is it? And uh oh. okay. So that's the that's the brains of it really. Okay, there's the MAC address on the Wi-Fi chip there. That's obviously what's running the show, but I want to get to the power supply. And it seems that's also got a connector that maybe just makes this come off as well. So, it's kind of glued to it, but I'll see what I can do. And have I mentioned this thing stinks? Okay, here's a high-res photo of this thing. It's got some pretty beefy inductors on there, so I'm, this could even be the power supply. But Okay, I've come this far, so I've got to keep pulling this thing apart because that connector there is something. You can't tell me it's just that, so let's go. Pull this shit away. Yep, there's another board under there. All right, as you can see, this is cream crackered. So that's where it's all obliterated, and that would be the source of the smell. So. I'll try and clean this up and see what I can actually see. Well, anyway, it's quite clear that that's what died. What I'll do is I'll try and clean that up and see if I can read, the, read what it is exactly. And I am fucked if I can read that. All right, out in the sunlight, I was actually able to read that. Something about Viper 26L N00 8850. So I'll look that up and see what it's about. Okay, so as expected, it's an AC to DC converter. Here's a circuit diagram for it. And here's some actual info about it. So all that stuff goes out the window as soon as the smoke gets let out. Yeah, that's pretty much that, but I might as well just smash this all the way since I didn't come this far. A little bit of capacitor down there. Yep. Shit on the floor. Okay. One terminal from the... Jesus Christ, look at that. It's just kind of there. That is what connected to those terminal posts. Pretty shit stuff, really, when you think about it. So this all got just got to be crap now. So I should be able to get it rip it out. Oh, there's a transformer. What else we got in here? Transformer that's no longer attached to that because I just ripped it out or it burnt itself out. But the transformer looks fine. I'm just getting brute force with it here. Don't, I don't really care about its future, obviously. So it came in, when it hit a transformer, it would have had this thing here to convert it to DC some cap capacitors to flatten that out a bit, I imagine. And I assume, but I shouldn't assume, there's a voltage regulator in there. Oh, yeah. There's some diodes anyway, so that's, that's that. So anyway, that's about the end of that. And that little IC that I looked up is what shat itself. All right, so that's what's in one of those when they die. Now, because I've got a bag full of the old ones that I took out before I put those in, I've got some spares, so I'm just going to put a box standard one in, which of course still has a power supply, so it's nothing to do with the fact that it was a smart light. Uh, as you saw, it was on the power supply, so these are still going to convert AC to DC. So this will, in fact, fuck it, I've got a whole bag of these. I might rip one of these apart. Another day, not now, but it would have the same sort of shit. Anyway, that'll do for now. Until next time, take it easy while I plug this in. Actually, as I was going through the bag, I've got a transparent one here, so you can see all the same sort of shit here. As I said, it has to have that power supply. So anyway, there it is.